the decision we make today. Hello guys, this is Yunda. And today's share is just a reminder, a share to each and every one of us. What is that decision we are making today? Guys, I want to share with you what is written in 1 Kings 11, 11, 12. You have been unfaithful to me and have broken my covenant. But in honor of your father, David, who was always faithful to me, I will not remove the kingdom from you. Guys, this is just a share. A reminder to each and every one of us. Whatsoever decision we make every day, don't just affect our life right now, but it may also affect the generations to come. When we make decision that honor God with your generous and faithful, it is being credited to your children's account. That means your children learn from it to your grandchildren and to the future generation. Just as there is generational course of negative that can pass down or a generous, generational positive things that can pass to your future generation. That is a blessing. God is keeping an account of being on every good thing we do. That's not being overlooked. It's curing mercy, favor, and blessing in your family's account. You can be the one to set your family on a new course of blessing. Guys, remember, as David lived in the earth, he was faithful. He knew better, but his heart turned away from the Lord. God would have taken the kingdom from Solomon, but he said that for David's sake, he wouldn't do it. David started a blessing. Children walk in the blessing. They receive mercy because of how he lived. As it says in first thing, you have been unfaithful to me and have broken my covenant. But in honor of your father David, who was always faithful to me, I will not remove the kingdom from you. The point here, guys, it is about our decision, our good life today, how we learn our children can pass through the future generation as well as the life of David. Guys, we may not thinking it right now, but remember that everything we are doing with our life it really affects us to our future generation, to the future for our children. Remember to think wisely that you have given the power to start a generational blessing. We can make a decision that honor us and a few blessing to down to our family. Remember to be grateful for the blessing and take care of that. Remember what you are starting today that is going to start with your future children and grandchildren as well. It means it can be passed down to your generation. Yes, there is a generational blessing. Therefore, we must remember what are we passing down right now? It can affect our 
our future children. Therefore, we must be wise enough to think that you are not only living your own life right now. You have your future generation who will take over of that situation. So therefore, guys, it is very important not to think just for ourselves, but to think for our children. They are going to pass it down. And God was kind to Deben. So Deben, what he has been accomplishing, what he has been doing, being faithful to God. God did not punish his children. The children inherited it because at the, as it says in 1st King 11 11 Debed who was always put faithful to me I will not remove the kingdom from you so the kingdom was not removed by God it was passed down to the children of Debed so guys this is just really a reminder and every one of us my point here what decision you are making every day just don't affect our lives they affect also to our generations to come when we make decision that honor God we are going to understand that our future children will honor God Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for dropping in in my channel today. I am very grateful to each and 